Chelsea, you've kind of, um, you know, you've talked about it a bunch. You guys wait to scrap in some of these games. You've done some sort of maybe motivating out here in front of us. I'm sure you've done a bunch of it in the locker room. How do you keep having these nights where you don't show up in the first eight, ten minutes? Yeah, I mean, shoot, it was it was tough. I mean, I think the biggest thing, I, I felt like we we were ready to scrap and, you know, ready to get off to a good start. I thought the turnovers really just hurt us, man. It just hurt us uh, to start the game. I mean, to start the game, you got to try to, that's when you're trying to establish yourself, you know, on both sides of the ball and turnovers, live ball turnovers. You know, we got off to, I mean, just a lousy start. And, um, you know, you get 14 points in the first. I didn't, I didn't know we'd make it to 10. You know, it was so bad out there. Um, and then I was proud of us from that point on. I was proud of us for fighting. I mean, there was a couple instances where we were very close to getting over the hump, you know. Uh, but I tell us, our guys all the time, we're just, we're not good enough um, to just get behind all the time. We're just not, we're not good enough right now to be able to do that. And we try. But it was, it was, uh, it was unfortunate uh, getting off to such a bad start, man. Do you feel like it was? It took you guys a little longer than you hoped for to adjust to Vic's presence. It seemed like a lot of guys were taking a step, pulling up a step shorter than they normally do because they just weren't used to that. You, you know, I, and I thought, you know, I wanted to. Obviously, it's everybody's first time playing against him, so there, there's an adjustment period. You know, and there was one timeout in in the in the thinking in early in the fourth quarter when I caught I said, guys, we have to understand it looks open, but it's not. We put our head down and we get to the basket, and once we take off, that it's not open. This kid is there every single time. So, you know, it's tough to see that. You know, when you in the you in the middle, you trying to do your thing, you're looking at one or two guys in front, this, this, and he just appears, you know. Um, so, you know, uh, I thought it took all of us, like you said, too long to adjust to it. But, shoot, man, that's that's the beauty of having somebody like that, you know. Um, you just never know where he's at, but just just know that he's going to be right there, you know. Um, and I thought his, his presence defensively um, – was incredible, you know, those seven blocks he had and so many other things that he just changed up. He started Scoot's um, numerous career high 25 points, but a lot of that came after the game was kind of out of reach. How would you assess his performance? I thought he struggled early. I thought he struggled early, but, um, you know, one thing about Scoot is he's going to keep, he's going to keep grinding the whole time. You know, he struggled a little bit early with his decision making, but I also thought his fire and his fight are the things that kind of helped us and changed the game for us in the second quarter. So, um, you know, that's kind of the gift and the curse with a young point guard right now is it, it, it took him a little bit to, to calm down. But when he did, he gave us everything we needed. I mean, we were really struggling to score. And then he goes on a little run uh, scoring for us. So that's just the, you know, that's just the, the ebbs and flows of it, uh, young point guard. But I thought overall, shoot, he had a career high. He kept attacking the whole time. You know, I thought overall he played a good game. Chauncey, Bonji gets his first real minutes after getting his debut the other night. Can you discuss the difference between not only how he played tonight, but just how different he is from summer league until now? Yeah, he's he's growing. I mean, Ebo is really, really growing in front of us. Um, and this is what we envisioned for him, you know, having him as a two-way and then bringing him along. Um, he's a, he's a, he's a big-time shot blocker. You know, you've seen that tonight. But not only that, I mean, he goes and gets nine rebounds. He's, he's, he's active. He's a live body, you know. Um, he tries his behind off. So I was really, really happy and proud uh, of Ebu uh, in this game today, man. It was that, – that's what we've been envisioning for him. Being able to actually play in the G League this year has done for him a ton, a ton. Him being able to get those minutes in the G League um, has been a big deal. You know, I always just believe that basketball, most of it is confidence, and you only get that from actually going out there and doing it and proving to yourself first and foremost that you that you can do it. 
And then when you do that, you just there's a confidence and a swagger that you have to have at all times. Then you can start making believers out of everybody else. And I think with Ebu, um, him being able to go out there, you know, um, and just prove it every single night in the G League, if you will, that you know he's going to be he's a human eraser out there, you know, um, in that G League. And then him coming tonight and being able to go block a few shots, I thought he had a huge block in that first half. Um, on Zach Collins, you know, one of those plays that I'm sure Zach thought he had a layup and Ibu just kind of appeared, you know. Um, just big time plays like that. Um, and I think a game like this will even have his confidence even soaring a lot higher.